हेलो एवरी वन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन दिस इज प्रतीक श्रीवास्तव यूर फाउंडर ऑफ ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रीक्वेंटली रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन इन टी सी एस एन क्यू टी एग्जामिनेशन इन टी सी एस एन क्यू टी यू विल हैव लिमिटेड टाइम एंड इन दैट लिमिटेड टाइम यू विल हैव टू डू द क्वेश्चन सो इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू have the right approach so that we solve it in limited time now question number 1 so before watching the solution please try to solve it by yourself okay so these are the level of the questions it will come in exam in an examination a got 25% marks more than b b got 10% less than c c got 25% more than d if d got 320 out of 500 so d is getting how much bhaiya 320 now c is 25% more than d 25% means what sir 320 is nothing but 100% so 50% of this value will be what sir 160 and then 25% means again half of 160 sir it is 80 that is nothing but that is nothing but 400 c will get 400 okay fine then sir b got 10% less than c so 400 and what will be 10% of 400 sir 40 so b is getting 10% less see 10% less means what b will be basically getting 90% only so 90% 4 into 9 36 and then a a is getting 25% more than b so again 360 this is nothing but 100% and then 50% will be sir 180 i want 25% 25% will be 90 so this will be 450 this will be 450 okay now sir how are you considering this 100% i will just ask you one question now suppose if you have 400 rupees if i will ask give me 50% how much you will give so whatever money you have that becomes 100% so you will be giving me 200 rupees that is 50% so this problems are basically very easy if you are going to use calculator it will take more time and you will end up wasting much of your time simple question and let the solution should be also simple okay next friends in a test swati secured 40% marks but failed by 60 see swati got 40% marks but she is failed by 60 marks that means you give her 60 marks she will pass the exam she will pass the exam see swati secured 40% marks but still failed by 60 marks so if we'll give 60 marks to swati bhaiya swati to nikal li nikal li means pass kar gayi okay then while kriti secured 60% kriti secured 60% and passed by 40 okay and passed by 40 more marks basically while kriti secured 60% marks and passed by 50 40 more marks okay that means if you'll subtract 40 so here more is missing i have added it okay that means kriti has scored 60% and she has 40 marks more than the pass marks kriti secured 60% marks and passed by 40 more marks so if you'll subtract 40 more for more marks that means my pass marks so here you see This forty, I will send it that side. So sixty minus forty will be twenty percent, and this forty, I will bring it here. So it will be hundred. So, boy, yeah, twenty percent is hundred. So I'll multiply five on both the side because I want to calculate the total marks. Total marks will be always hundred percent. So it is five hundred. Clear? Okay. Now, now they are telling Chitra secured eighty marks more than the passing marks. Now, what is the pass marks? So, boyya, pass mark is forty percent plus sixty. Or you take this, no problem. Now, total mark is five hundred. So, five hundred forty percent will be what? Sir, it will be two hundred and plus sixty. So, the pass mark is nothing but two sixty. See, you do not have to take x here. Whenever you will take x in maths or in your life. See, x has always spoiled either it is your life or it is mathematics. So, try to avoid. X as much as possible. Now also, if she comes back or he comes back, kick them out, kick them out 
from maths also okay then only peaceful life okay otherwise x always creates problem so 260 is nothing but the pass marks that's we calculated so 40% of 500 is 200 plus 60 see all those things you do not have to write now you are matured enough and you should and must know the basics otherwise you know uh, clearing TCS and QT will be tough and then so Chaitra secured sorry it is Chitra so Chitra secured 80 marks more than the passing marks that means 260 is a passing marks and Chaitra got 80 marks more so it is 340 bahut bhai 340 okay now 340 marks and out of what is the total marks sir 500 tell the percentage multiply with 100 whenever percentage comes so 5 6 ja 30 and 5 8 ja 40 68 percent option a will be the correct answer happily you will be able to solve okay so you do not have to use much of your mind you will be easily able to solve friends see like these tricks i will be teaching you and i want you to be selected in tcs or any other examination okay because if you prepare for tcs now that's all done you will be ready for all other exam tcs nqt crash course this is not a promotion see simple thing you need to learn so that you will be able to clear the exam if you think it is promotion you leave but if you are serious about cracking the exam if you don't want to regret see now 20 i today i made a video many people are telling so 2025 batch what are the hirings can you tell the hiring dates 2025 batch now there will be very limited hiring same situation you will be also in after one year if you don't take the thing seriously and i don't want you to regret later this tcs nqt crash course where see test series pdf for practice lot of things are there and everything see i have also told you how you have to start you know uh, how you have to attempt a test set practice set mock test see whatever mock test series live classes recording english communication ai tool all these are we are giving it to you what else you want you tell me okay and that is the reason only this result has come and 700k 7 lakhs people has trust in online study for you so i will teach you all those things how you can you know uh, solve in an easier way how you can attempt now this question only you take you see radha saves 25 percent of her income now radha will start calling her ex ex okay so radha saves 25 percent of her income so let us let her income is 100 rupees okay radha is saving 25 percent that means radha saving is what 25 percent and expenditure will be what expenditure sir 75 percent 25 percent of 100 is 25 and 75 percent of 100 is 75 see if we have assumed income as 100 sir <laughs> always you will assume something you also assume something no that is what you need to learn okay to make the problem easier so saving 25 and expenditure 75 okay now what they're telling if our expenditure increased by 20 percent so expenditure is going to increase by 20 percent 20 percent is what see 75 into 20 percent is nothing but 1 by 5 first of all you keep that in mind 20 percent is nothing but equal to 1 by 5 so 75 1 by 5 is what 15 that means 75 will increase by 75 will increase by 15 so it will become 90 in a very simple way okay you have to do and her income increases by 29%. 29% of 100 is what? Are bhaiya 129. Okay, so her income is this much and the new expenditure is this much. So what is saving? So what is new saving? So new saving is nothing but it will be 39 rupees, sir. 39 rupees. Okay, now. So they are asking, tell her, tell me how much percentage her saving increased. So now new saving is 39. That means it is increased by... 14 okay now friends see 14 has been increased so you can use your common sense also okay so see 25 into 70 will be what so i mean it's difficult for you to understand okay let's see so pachis chak okay what you do so 14 has increased on 25 right 
See, 25 is the base, 14 has increased and into 100. So 25, 4, ja, it is 56%. You can also guess it and do, but I don't want you to confuse you here. So 56% will become the correct answer for this particular problem. Let's see, you know, how easier, in how easy way we are able to solve this kind of problem. A starts a business with 2400 rupees. Now this is nothing but partnership. Part, partner. So by a partnership problem. Okay, partnership says your investment into time. Okay, your investment into time will be nothing but profit ratio. Now A starts a business with 2400 rupees. By a investment is 24 a start a is starting and after one year that means they're investing for one year and b joined with x rupees after three months so if b will join after three months so b will be able to invest for how much time b will be able to invest for nine months okay and their profit ratio is two is to one that's what is given so two four double zero into twelve is equals to sir 9x will be equal to sir 2 by 1 now you see so 3 3 za and 3 8 ja and this is 3 4 ja and this is 2 2 za so sir it will be x will be equal to 8 into 2 16 and with double zero it will become 1600 option b will be the correct answer very peacefully you know you have to solve the questions in the exam okay lightly Problems will be easy only. The only thing is you should have practiced this kind of question. See, many people will do very difficult, difficult question. Are bhai, that comes in exam. No. If you'll if you'll see the previous year problem, see, if you'll go to YouTube channel and now you see we have uh, I mean some TCS 2025 asked questions, exact questions, TCS previous year question, three days back. Just go and watch this video. You will come to know what kind of questions in ex comes in exam and that is what see i have total 13 years of experience now in it industry uh in this uh, preparation okay and see if you have more experience right i'm not telling if you have more experience means uh you know you have more knowledge but that experience now it always comes uh when it is required okay so i know what kind of question generally comes most of the questions will be repeated in the exam what kind of questions which tcs focuses on all those things okay now a man sells a mobile phone for 680 rupees okay so one thing first you know see you will have cost price now if you're selling if you're buying article in 10 rupees and selling in 12 so by yeah you are going to having have profit and how much profit so profit will be selling price minus cost price now suppose if you bought in 10 and if you sold in 8 so you are going to have the loss and loss will be cost price minus selling price correct okay now same thing a man sells a mobile phone for 682 rupees and loses something so loss will be cost price minus selling price okay this is a formula i'm using is equals to so loses something okay uh okay now so no no so loss is given and this thing is given so cost price so cost price in case of loss will be what so loss is not given i will assume x so loss and plus selling price is 680 rupees right see from here what i did loss i assumed x so cost price will be x plus selling price correct okay so a man sells a mobile phone for 680 and loses something x rupees if he had sold it for 1070 his gain would have been double the former loss so gain will be what 2x so here cost because cost price will be same so cost price will be selling price minus profit right okay so now he is selling at 1070 and his gain is what sir his gain is double i mean double the loss so it is minus 2x same formula because cost price will be always same okay now so 2x plus x will be 3x and 1070 minus 680 so it is 9 and uh, 8 minus 9 minus 6 is 3 so x will be 130 now what they're asking the cost price of the mobile phone so cost price put in the any of the formula so this is your cost price so 680 plus 130 
sir it is nothing but 0 1 810 so 810 option d will become the correct answer okay now now friends question number six is a very interesting question so if the diameter of the base of the cone so you have a cone ice cream okay so let's see what are the information has been given so diameter is given okay so basically this diameter is given diameter is nothing but 56 centimeters okay so you can calculate the radius radius will be 28 centimeter correct okay it curves surface area so bhaiya csa will be equal to pi r l okay if the diameter of the base okay fine so basically this data you need to find it out okay okay then uh, what will be its volume so volume will be of volume of cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h now if you try to see so csa is given uh, 3080 so from here what we will get l 22 by 7 into 28 into l so from here l we will get after you get l then see your l will be nothing but slant height so this will be your l and this will be your h right so then you will be using the formula right so your l will be nothing but square root of r h square plus h square and then you will be calculating h from there and then you will be calculating the volume now here you see your volume is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h pi is 22 by 7 into whatever r square and whatever h square so here 22 is there 22 is a factor of 11 that means check your that means your volume will be a multiple of 11 because 11 is getting multiplied with this so check which option is divisible by 11 so alternate number sum 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 8 is 11 and 11 so 11 minus 11 is 0 so this is divisible by 11 6 plus 1 7 and 4 plus 7 11 no 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 5 5 minus 14 no 3 and 7 no so your answer will be option one like this tricks i am going to teach you like this method i am going to teach you okay in this tcs crash course see if you think it is a promotion skip if you really serious if you're really serious and if you really want to crack the exam then go ahead with this this will definitely help you a lot there is no second thought about it thank you take care and all the very very best